Hey, Chris Cameron here, and uh, I was driving, it's a rainy day here in Florida, and I just had some thoughts that I thought I would share with uh, people that like to watch my YouTubes, and uh, we always appreciate that. Um, and, and I was thinking about advice, and if you're, you know, a lot of people have advice, free advice, and supposedly advice is worth what you paid for it, but if you listen to the right kind of people that can give you encouragement or insight um, that know more than you and surround yourself with this kind of uh, environment, uh, a successful environment, a can-do successful environment, then uh, not a you can't do that or you, you know you you don't know what you're doing. Um, it can really make a difference. And so when you want to get advice, you want to seek uh, like-minded people that are hopefully uh, better at you or have experience, um, have done it before. Uh, and th this advice is probably a lot more valuable than people that you happen to already know that have never done it. You know, sometimes people inadvertently seek legal or medical advice from friends and family, and they don't know um, what they're talking about, basically. So when you're when you're when you're doing a new project, making changes in your life, looking to uh, develop a plan. Uh, of self-improvement or a new venture, seek uh, qualified advice. It might be uh, somebody in your church, somebody in your community that you hear is good at it. You know, your ears should really perk up if, you know, like if you're doing real estate and you're looking to buy a house and you can talk to somebody that has 10 or 20 houses that have done it for 5, 10, 15 years, uh, even 2 years, uh, they're bound to know more than you do. And try to sift through that advice to see what might be helpful to you. Um, the other thing is that it might not be in person. Uh, listen to uh, motivational materials, uh, either CDs or things you've recorded from the web, or um, it could be things that uh, you've run across. Uh, a lot of times things are on YouTube. Uh, I've gotten a lot of valuable things there on uh, issues that I wanted to know more about, whether it's fishing, guitar playing, uh, making YouTubes, uh, advice, uh, selling online, I mean, it just, it's endless. And what's interesting is that, you know, I'm a older fella in my 50s, and I get advice from people that are in their 20s or their teens or their 30s, and I don't miss a stroke. I mean, I'm pretty smart, but I'm coming to them via YouTube for advice, and I love the fact that I can get a different perspective on it, because sometimes people that are older, uh, might be set in their ways, they might not, uh, a lot of my relatives are like me, they always love to learn and do new things. So when you're looking for advice, uh, go where you can find it, um, don't necessarily go real close to home because sometimes people around your home can't provide you with valuable advice. It's like saying, you know, you want medical advice from somebody that doesn't have any medical knowledge. So why would you take their advice on your latest venture? And they're just going to poo-poo it and say you can't do it. Um, surround yourself with positive voices. They can give you good advice. You can learn things. Uh, you may know in certain areas more than they do. And so you start to appreciate their advice. They've got experience or maybe they just didn't talk about that particular thing. So anyway, that's my point. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, I'm, I'm still fairly new to, new to YouTube. Uh, I intend to publish these videos once I get a few and review them and see if it's something that could help other people. Thank you very much.